This video is for 9.4 homework. So it's going to go over several of the problems on your homework. So if you have questions, be sure to follow along. So this tells us that Janelle weighed an unknown substance. The substance had a mass of 20.609 grams. She exposed the substance to a flame and carefully weighed the substance again. Now the substance had a mass of 17.39. So this is what it started at. Now it weighs this. So we want to write and solve an equation to determine the amount of mass X that the substance lost. So we know it weighed this. Now it weighs this. And it tells us that it lost weight. So we want to start with our total. And we're going to subtract X. And that's going to equal 17.39 grams. So this is what we started with. We're taking away some unknown amount. Now we equal 17.39. So then, so that's our equation. Then we want to get X by itself. So the opposite of positive 20.609 is, so we're starting with, let me write this out here. 20.609, we're taking away X and that equals 17.39. So here I'm noticing, I'm going to be left with a negative X here. So that's, I don't really wanna deal with negative. So I can rewrite this problem to mean something different. So let's rewrite this. I know if my total is 20.609, that if I add on the amount that was lost and the amount that was left, that together these will equal 20.609, and now I have a positive X. So we wanna get this X all by itself. So the opposite of 17.39 is to take away 17.39. And I want to do that to both sides. We want to line our decimals up 17.39, and I can add a zero here. So when I do this problem, that will tell me what X equals. So I can write either of these equations, but this one, when I took the 20 to the other side, I'd be left with a negative X, and that completely changes your problem. So we always want to write them so that we're getting these positive variables whenever possible. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, number three tells us that Rosario is working on an eight foot by eight foot floor covered with 64 white tiles. So I'm hearing we've got this square that's eight feet by eight feet and inside of here are 64 tiles. She replaces X and these are all white tiles. She replaces some amount of white tiles with blue tiles. And when she's finished, now there are 40 white tiles left. So we started with 64 white tiles and she took away some X amount and that left us with 40 white tiles. But we wanna rewrite this so we don't have this negative X. So I can rewrite this as an addition problem, and I can say that when I have X blue tiles and I have 40 white tiles, that that equals 64 total tiles. So we also have these eights in here. What do these eights mean in this problem? That I had eight feet by eight feet, eight times eight is 64. So this was just telling us the measurements of the room to get 64 square tiles. We don't actually need these in our equation because we are replacing eight times eight with 64. So now here's our equation we want to use. And now I can get rid of this 40 on both sides. So positive 40, so we want to minus 40 and minus 40 on both sides. Remember it's opposite on both sides. So X equals I'll let you go ahead and finish that problem. Hey, number four tells us that the distance between Professor Berger's house and Chris's house is 12 miles. So here is Professor Berger. 
And here is Chris's house. And the distance here is 12 miles total. Lila's house is on the way from Professor Berger's house to Chris's house. So somewhere in here is Lila's house. The distance between Chris and Lila's house is five miles. Okay, so to get from Chris to Lila is five miles. So write and solve an equation to find the distance from Professor Berger's house to Lila's house. So we're looking for this X distance here. So we know that when I take this part and add on five, so whatever X is plus five should equal 12. So X plus five equals the total of 12. Then we want to do the opposite of positive five to get X by itself and then do that to the other side of the equation as well. And that will tell us how far it is to get from Layla's house to Professor Berger's house. Hey, number five tells us that a store had a sale on baseball cards. So Percy bought several baseball cards to give us gifts. He gave away a total of X cards. We don't know how many he gave away to five friends. Each friend got four baseball cards. So he gave five friends four baseball cards each. So we want to write this equation to see how many baseball cards Percy gave away. So there are several ways we could write this problem here. So we know he had, um, so we know he had five friends that each got four. Five each got four, and that can equal X. We can also write it, since we wrote it as a multiplication problem, we can do the opposite. So we can take our total. We can say we're going to divide that by five friends and they'll each get four. We could also say we're taking our total. We're giving all of our friends four baseball cards. How many can they each get? Or how many friends can he give them away to? Five. So all of these problems here represent the same thing. So here, let's see, let's use this equation to go ahead and solve. So the opposite of divide by five is to multiply by five on both sides of the equation. So this cancels out. So we are, cause this is like one fifth times five ends up being one. So we have one X and then four times five. So X equals 20, which we can see here. Five times four is 20. So 20 equals X. So as long as our equations are equivalent, we'll come up with the same answer no matter which one we choose to use. Okay, let's skip to number seven. So the area of a rectangle is 120 square inches. So it's telling us the inside is 120. So when I do area of a rectangle, I'm doing length times width equals area. So we know our total. We know our length is 15. And we want to find the width here. So let's plug in to this equation right here. What do we know? So we know the total is 120. We know the length is 15. So we've got 15 times W, 15 W's equals 120. So just take what you know, plug it into your equation. So this is what we're going to use to solve this problem. So normally we would do 15 times the width equals 120. So since we're multiplying, we want to do the opposite. So the opposite of multiply is to divide. So we're going to divide, which means that cancels out. And then we'll divide here. So 20 divided by 15 will tell us what the width of this rectangle is. So we're just doing working backwards when we have that answer. So instead of multiplying, we had to divide to find that width. Hey, number eight tells us that ginger withdrew. So this word withdrew means to take away $120 from her bank account. 
after the withdrawal is she has 345 left in her bank account. Write an equation to find out how much Ginger had before. So we wanna know the total before. So several ways we can do this problem. So I can say she had, she has 220 in her pocket now. She has $345 in her bank account. So I'm gonna use B for bank. And I'm gonna say, or before, this is what she had before this happened. So our total, our B here, needs to be something that's bigger because we're adding these two. So I could say, here's what she had before. She took out $220. Now she's left with 345. I could say, here's what she had before. Here's what she has left. And that equals, what did she take out of her bank account? So several ways to do this same problem here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna use this one here. So we've got negative $220 and I wanna cancel that out. So that means I'm going to add on, oops, that's a two, and I'm going to add on. So look here, even when we wrote the subtraction problem, this cancels out and we're going to end up doing the same thing, 220 plus 345 equals B to figure out how much was left or how much was in her account before. So here's our equation and then you'll want to solve that. Hey, that is the last one I'm going to go over on your homework. If you have any other questions, be sure to let me know and we can set up a time to meet together.